Hey everyone and welcome to IgniteBST.com back to another beat making tutorial and in today's video we want to create a modern trap style beat very minimalistic with hard drums and a piano that sounds like coming from a sample. The original beat is from a German rap artist. It's a remake. Um, so some informations at the beginning. The final BPM will be 100, 100 beats per minute. But at the moment the project is set to 80 BPM. And I did this for a reason, you will see why. So, the first element I started with was a piano. And as I said, I want the piano sound like it's sampled. So, I started with the diamond keys from the Heat Up 2 Factory library and also applied a vinyl effect to the piano and then I played this melody, one second I layered the both pianos Okay, the next thing what I did was I recorded this. I loaded the Edison, then set it to record ready, hit play. Okay, now we have to chop it up. and drag the sample into the project. So then um, let's play it back one time. Okay, this is what we have. The next thing is we increase the BPM of the project to 100 beats per minute. Set the pitch range of the sample to 12 half notes so then we can bring it up one octave with the pitch knob also we set the sample to um, tonal the time stretching to tonal and the time we set to one bar okay then I've uh, change the piano to another one to the uh, definition one in the blackout expansion pack in heat up 2 and we bring the keys up two octaves boom a7 and then we mix it together sorry we can set this to eight Okay, we uh, send everything to a mixer track and um, apply some reverb to it. Okay, this is um, the way I made the piano sample. So let's go on with the second part okay so once the piano sounds as you like it we can go on with the drums so um, I also have changed the levels a bit of the pianos the volumes um, I shifted one of the pianos a bit behind the grid and applied a ping pong delay and this is what I have for now Okay, so then we can start with the drums and the drums in this beat are really, really simple. So the kick drum plays like this 
and that's it. We have four snares. Um, they are layered. You can layer snares or use a single snare, however you like it. I've used four snares and layered them. So it plays like this. Then we start with the first hi-hat. This is the sidechain trigger here. We start with the first hi-hat, set the uh, steps to one third of a beat. Play it like this, copy everything and paste it there and then we open the second hi-hat and sorry, for the second hi-hat we fill all steps, send it to the piano roll and delete the first four. What the hell is wrong here? One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. And we assist the first hi hats a bit like this. Maybe you can do this randomly. So I think this will be okay. So you really can go in here and delete stuff randomly it will get a nice vibe then okay and then we quantize the whole thing just to make it sound a bit more natural okay then we have a shaker or oh, let's listen to what we have I think here we can add more. Okay. Then we have a shaker, it plays at the beginning, and a percussion, it plays at the end. Okay. Um, we also have another percussion. that we use like this and then we have this um, snare sound here and we play this Then we have a vocal uh, effect and this is also very simple. Um, something like this, copy it, paste it, boom. And another sample is uh, a police siren and this plays all the time in the background of the beat. So also we just play it one time, trigger it and let it play. It will loop then all the time. Important here, make sure you have the sample set to cut itself. Um, 
Yeah. I think... There's another uh, siren. I use this uh, later in the um, playlist. So good, let's listen to what we have so far. Okay, then we open the 808 and um, I've used uh, the Lo-Fi 808 from the Blackout Expansion Pack for Heat Up 2. And we start at A2. Okay, and then we can copy this and here uh, we delete this, yeah. Okay, um, another, th uh, another sound I have used here is the Wrath of Ice uh, choir from the Blackout Expansion Pack for Heat Up 2 and this is basically more uh, like a sound effect. I will show you how it sounds. It is very silent. I made it very silent and repaste it. This is just for the background. And we do the same uh, with this pad. What is the Screamer Ghost pad from the Heat Up 2 Blackout expansion. Um, and we play this at A2. Also very silent, just in the background. Yeah, so this is the part and so I don't want to add more here because this is um, this is very dope already and it has enough space for a voice. It's kind of atmospheric, uh, very good for an artist and what we do, do now is for the hook we copy everything um, delete the 808, delete the breath and the pad, and then uh, we go, we open the future lead, it's in the base smooth section in the blackout expansion pack for heat up 2, um, the preset is called future MOOC, and we open this up, also um, I've used a chorus on this preset, and the future move basically plays from um, from F6 to D6, A5 and uh, B5. Then we copy everything, bring it down a octave, make it a bit more silent. 
in the logo registry. And the 808 here, the 808 basically follows these notes um, starting from F3. A2 and B2. And that's basically the whole beat. So we can open the uh, playlist and here are these um, S little siren sound effects or siren plugs, these weird effects I will show you. Oh, sorry, was muted. Yeah, and that's it basically, that's basically the whole beat, the rest is just a bit um, arrangement, a bit mixing, a bit mastering eventually, a intro, a outro, and here in the um, second hook I also added a very decent choir and um, a saw synth or something but very decent you barely will hear it so um yeah so thanks for watching uh, i hope you liked the tutorial um if though so, then i would highly appreciate if you leave a like or subscribe to the channel if you want me to do something specific um let me know and yeah thanks for watching have a nice time and see you soon guys Bye.